Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Heidi. Today I just want to share with you um, how I did this project. It's a lavender field in case you do not recognize. <laughs> I try my best, okay? Well, I copied um, the technique of Angela Anderson and her link I'll put on the description box if you want to try it too. You will notice on her video that her canvas is obviously bigger than mine. I have a very tiny one. Um, but uh, I like the way that she used Q-tips to paint, so that's why I gave it a try. And I don't have all the colors uh, that she used. I just use whatever color that I have and mix it. Painting is definitely not my best talent, so please don't judge too much. <laughs> You'll notice that on the video. but. Painting is definitely one of the many things that helped me stay sane during this pandemic. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you can give it a try, please do so and let me know in the comment if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. So enjoy the video. Using just credit card or palette knife and some Q-tips. You'll need a large brush for the background part, but the rest of it, all the details and everything are going to be done uh, with very simple tools. So it should be a really fun paints in my little baggie here. I'm going to pull them out as a palette knife. Now, if you're, you start from the bottom and start scraping it up, you can use a credit card instead if you want. And there's still some yellow on there, which I actually kind of like. Um, if you're using a credit card, you would just do the same thing. You would just scrape it up on one side and pull from the bottom and scrape up. We can control it a little bit, but for the most part, it's gonna catch and do interesting things. So if I want to do some lines, we'll get some lines coming off of that. I'm dulling it down, because the, the ones that are farther in the background are kind of fuzzied and they're gonna be lighter and a little bit more gray. of give it some balance um, we're just wanting to avoid uh, same placements to start tapping in and I think I want some nice big ones going all the way up high so I'm just going to tap in um, kind of a almost a cone shape keep it fairly narrow at the bottom though these kind of really do grow kind of almost straight up in a spike so um, and I'm kind of using the side of my um, q-tip and roll keep it from going mangling if you're finding that it is mangling you can pull off some of the fluff to help control it a little bit better if you need to Let's do a really loud, tall one right up there. Thank you for watching my video and hope to see you on the next one. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Put it on a comment down below. Hope to see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.